Hello there everybody, in this new video, I'm going to be showing you how to add product categories into your Shopify store. So let's begin. So the first thing guys, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. If you don't have a Shopify already connected, already created, you want to create your store and you want to have a trial mode so you can see all the features that Shopify can actually provide to us. So once you redeem that code, you want to create your account and create your store real quick. So I don't want to be focusing into the setup guide i'm just going to be going right away into how we can start to create catalogs into our store so there are two ways that we can do this if you are not really into making some manual stuff you just want to do some automated uh, stuff you want to find how you, you can do this into the easy way you want to focus into the application of shopify so I think like the best feature of Shopify, uh, speaking about the e-commerce uh, platform, is that you can go into the apps the store of the Shopify and inside the Shopify app store, people can create their own app store. Sometimes there are a few that are for free and there are a few that are payment. So if I go into this search bar, I want to look for using a keyword that can be related into what I'm looking for into my needed. So in my case, I want to look for catalog. And here it's going to be appearing a lot of applications. Once again, you want to choose an application that appears to see free plan available. As you can see, it says free plan available. I'm going to be going back because I didn't see this uh, really well. And as you can see, we have the easy catalog wholesale retail. So if I want to use this one of applications, what I just need to do is to go into, for example, here we have the catalog maker. I'm going to be choosing this option and I'm going to go into add application. So once we have the application already added, what I want to do is to enable the authorization to install this into my store. So once I have this application already added into my store, I can start right away. And here, what I want to do, first of all, is to see that I have all my products already created. Uh, I'm going to go into my products. And here, as you can see, I only have one product available, right? So I'm going to be creating a new product just for the purpose of this tutorial. I'm going to, let's say, example number two, example number two. And I'm going to create a very low price just for a demonstration. I'm going to create into save. And once again, I'm going to back into my applications and I'm going to open the catalog maker. So in here, what I can do is to start creating my first catalog. So I'm going to choose create new. And here, as you can see, here is the catalog. So let's say, for example, that this is the, uh, let's say, new arrivals of, uh, let's say, um, spring of the 2023. And here into the collections, you can add the collections that you've already created. And then you want to choose out of stock, include all of those. Here are all the variants. The product sold. What I want to do is to choose from the lowest price and the orientation. I'm going to get into portrait and here's the layout. If you have a huge amount of products, you want to choose something like this or like this. I'm going to stick around with this one. Hit into next. And the catalog has been added successfully. So as you can see, here is the example file. This is how it's going to be looking our file, our catalog. So I'm going to just close this for a second. And you can edit the header section. Here's the background color. Here are different layouts that you can create once again. The products, what I want to do is to change the description here, for example. Um, and then we can just start to work here into the catalog maker section. But the second way that I'm going to be showing you, because I think this is like too easy, so we can customize a little bit more our Shopify store, is to go into our products. So into our products, we do have two options. We do have two products. So what we want to do is to go into collections. And here into collections, what I want to do is to create a new collection. Uh, let's say that I wanted to use exactly the same um, example here, new arrivals 2023 in the description. 
this is just an example right and then what I want to do is to add the collection type manually and here what I want to do is to add the collection of all my of all my let's say for example here my products I want to go into save so I just need to add my products right so what I want to do once again I'm gonna go into the products gonna go into browse and I'm gonna choose these options all right so these products are now into my new arrivals and here I'm gonna go back into my online store let's go into the customize and here into the customize as you can see here's my store I do want to focus into the feature collection so here as you can see we do have a collection here is a product this is something that can be simulated into a catalog so um, this is a collection name example product title so I just need to go into select collection this is the reason why we created a collection before so I'm going to choose new arrivals and go into select so here it says new arrivals this is just an example this is this is something we just created a few seconds ago so you should see your collector your collections already added into your store if you do want to see less stuff let's see for example I'm gonna go back into my stuff into my home page so let's say this college I don't want to see this I don't want to see this rich text I don't want to see this feature collection. I want to add something uh, of my own. So I'm going to go into add section. I'm going to tap the collection or I'm just going to see a collection list. Here is my collection list. I'm going to choose feature collection. And here into the feature collection, I can add a section if I wanted to, or if not, I just need to click into this feature collection. And if I want to select in a specific collection that like the one that we just created here is select collection new arrivals and select there we go and now the last thing that you need to do is to change the heading so people can be looking our collection our catalog as new arrivals 2023 uh, 50 off, uh, something like that right and here's the description so lastly what you just need to do is to go into save and you can publish your store and you are actually good to go now remember that if you want to change anything from your home from your catalog from your contact uh, it's really important that you want to create you want to edit all the sections outside your editor of your website this is just like a design of your of your store if you go back into the exit section here into the products here's the place where you want to edit uh, all our product our status our inventory absolutely everything so hopefully guys this was a very useful video for you thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more stuff over here after more stuff about Shopify so thank you once again and I will see you next time guys